On this tutorial, I will be explaining how to use Tune Shader in Radiant Pro Render for Maya. Tune Shader is a feature that lets you create non photoreal renders. You can use this feature to create unique results. So let's get started. Lights are very important when creating Tune Shaders, as they change its look depending on the intensity and type. The lights need to show sharp shadow and from one direction in order to get the visual you need. So I will create a directional light. Set the intensity units to luminance. This will show a perfect ramp between the highlight and the shadow. Apply a tune shader on the object by holding right click Create New Material, Radiant Pro Render, RPR2 Material. After applying the Tune Shader, run the RPR Render. Let me explain what the parameter does. Color is where you can apply texture or base color. In order to get shadows or highlights on the Tune Shader, we will need to put advanced mode on. Unlike the casual tune shader workflow with ramp node, Radiant Pro Render's tune shader supports up to three types of color highlight, midtone, and shadow. If you want to change the amount of shadow showing on the object, you can change it from the mid level. Sending it to lower makes it less shadow while higher will make the shadow amount larger. This goes same for the highlight parameter. If you don't want sharp shadow, you can also change the mix level between the two by putting check on the show mix level. Lower makes it sharper, while higher makes it softer. You can apply a normal map on the tune shader to show shadows or highlights based on the normal maps. That will be all for this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.